this afternoon I am in a very famous California place. So this is uh, Sweeney Ridge, which is just to the east of Pacifica, California. And that is just a few miles south of the city of San Francisco. I'm here because in November of 1769, the Portola Expedition, which was sent north from San Diego to find the hopeful capital uh, of New Alta, California, uh, got about as far north as they, as they were able to come. 74 men left from uh, San Diego in July. It included Spanish soldiers, it included Portola and his staff, a number of Franciscan friars, uh, as well as about a dozen uh, Baja California Indians uh, who were members of the Spanish mission system in Baja California. Uh, they traveled across California documenting uh, the mineral resources, the trees, the pasturage, the watery places, and especially the locations of the villages of California Indians. For this military and religious expedition, uh, it was their goal to find places where they could establish missions where the Spanish friars could begin to harvest souls for their purpose. By October, the end of October, they had reached Monterey, but they mistook it. They didn't recognize it from the exaggerated descriptions of a fine uh, harbor uh, that had been left by Viscaino in 1602. Uh, and so they continued north, uncertain and also running low on supplies uh, and sick. About a half a dozen members of the expedition were suffering from scurvy and had to be carried on, on litters with the party. And it took them nearly a month to travel the next hundred miles from Monterey to this place. And so we can, uh, I think, begin to empathize with this group of people who were lost uh, in uh, what they would have perceived as a kind of wilderness, surrounded by people, surrounded by native Californians, the Ohlone people who offered them food, who offered them guidance and direction, uh, but who did it uh, in languages that they couldn't understand, uh, or in any case, they didn't listen very well. In any event, they got to this place here in Pacifica. They could see up the coast to what is today, you know, we know as Point Reyes, uh, and they realized at that point that they had come uh, too far, uh, and they were really lost. Uh, and they sent a party, uh, an advanced party, up to the top of the hill, came back and said that they had seen something extraordinary. And so on the morning of November 4th, the entire party climbed this ridge to the top to take a look. Uh, and what they saw, of course, was something that would uh, become a critical part of California's history from then until now. And when the expedition reached the top, they climbed 1,600 feet from sea level with the ocean behind them, the Farallon Islands out in the distance. And on the other side of the ridge, of course, was this. San Francisco, and which of course we still call San Francisco today. It's an awe-inspiring and magnificent sight, uh, even today. And one of the ironies of this story is that for the Spaniards who arrived here, looking out into this blue expanse was a signal that they indeed were lost, that they'd failed to find Monterey. And Gaspar de Portola, in his diary that evening, made no mention of this extraordinary natural feature behind us. Miguel Costanza, the cartographer, uh, noted that there was a bay, an inland arm of the sea that stretched beyond sight. Uh, and it was only the priest, Father Juan Crespi, who in his diary remarked, that they had found a bay large enough to harbor all of the ships of His Imperial Majesty, and indeed all of the ships of Europe. It was only Crespi who could see the potential future uh, in the bay here. So what do we make of this moment in California's history? There's a lot to talk about, and there's many themes, but among them, I think, of course, is the extraordinary arrogance of the Spanish colonial project to set out across what they saw as a wilderness, um, to march across it, to conquer it, 
to claim it for Spain, to mark out the locations of the villages of people who they hoped to lure to their missions for their salvation, as they saw it, uh, regardless of whether that is what the native people wished for themselves or not. And that would be one of the features, of course, of the Spanish colonial project for uh, the next 60 years. We can also see the dogged determination of that project, its lack of planning, its poorly supported um, logistics, uh, lack of support from Spain, the small number of Spanish soldiers, the lack of supplies. We can also see the Spaniards inability to perceive the native people who they encountered uh, on the same level of humanity as themselves. They could not recognize the knowledge that they possessed. They couldn't ask directions. They lived on the generosity of those native people. They took food from them. They received medicines. They received instructions on the road north and shelter in the midst of storms. And that too, the goodwill of California Indians would mark the history of Spanish, uh, the Spanish period in California as well. In 1769, California's native people were living across a populous, socially integrated, well-managed, and meaningful landscape. From the territories of the Kumeyaay, where the Portola expedition began, to the Ohlone homelands about the great San Francisco Bay and beyond. They had no idea that their way of life, society, was on the brink of a catastrophic change. So for all of its folly, its poor logistics, the stubborn refusal to deviate from plans, for all of its appearances of idiots abroad, of ragged and unbathed Europeans wandering lost in the sagebrush, the Porto La expedition, the establishment of the mission system that it foretold, represented a tragic turning point in California Indian life. It remains a remarkable moment of encounter, of misunderstanding, of meeting across cultures. The discovery of one world, but also the progressive destruction of another. It was a turning point that would forever mark the future of California. Many ironies to consider here, and we will engage them in the class as we go. But this is a good place to begin. From Sweeney Ridge, atop the uh, Golden Gate National Recreation Area here in uh, San Francisco.